get back, all right, if I have to leave for some strange reason, um, you'll be able to help them out, all right? Because I think I'm supposed to take the class pictures today with the eighth graders, so I may have to step out. That's why I kind of want to get started, all right? It's super, super easy, super easy, all right? Um, today, we are going to express each ratio as a fraction in simplest form. And again, everybody should understand when they say ratio, that's just a fancy word for saying fraction. That's it. All right? That's all there is to it. So what I want to do is I now want to write the ratio of boys to girls as a fraction. So I would write what? 12B for boys over 16G for girls. And then what would I do with those? Just reduce it. And when I reduce it, that would reduce down to what? What is, what is it? Yes. Yes. Now listen, it's going to be three boys to four girls. We're not going to lose the unit because the unit is not the same. All right, those of you guys who are just getting in, please hurry up. All right, sit down. All right, get out a sheet of paper quickly. I already did number one. Now we're going to work on number two. All right, number two means we're comparing... Uh, light bulbs. Now, in this case, are the units the same? Yes. So will the light bulbs cancel? No. Very good. They will, of course. If you put light bulbs over light bulbs, they do what to each other? They cancel out. Is everybody with me? So in this case, it would be 24 light bulbs out of what? 60 light bulbs. And then what's going to happen with the light bulbs? They cancel out. Okay. So now I need help with 24 over 60. What does 24 over 60 reduce to? 6 over 15. Six over 15. Oh, oh. And then that reduces to? Um. You got this. Uh, um. Yes, ma'am. 2 over 5. Don't be sorry. It's OK. I'm totally OK. Nobody needs to be sorry. All right, 2 over 5. I'm totally happy with that. Again, we're not using our calculator right now because the numbers are what? Too easy. small. The numbers are too easy. All right? If the numbers are bigger, I don't mind. But right now, they're too easy. What? Light bulb. But the light bulbs do what? Cancel. The light bulbs cancel out. All right? So now I have to step out to take a picture. All right? So I already... Guys, um, what do I need to show you on 1 through 9? Anything? <coughs> Why don't I just ask him what? You need help with those. Let's do those. Yeah. All right. But does everybody agree one through five is okay, right? Yeah. Okay. So now, um, I was saying on your iPad, I, I'm not expecting you to know all the units and conversions. But I'm not making them memorize that. All right. I wish you would know it, but it's okay not to know it because you can look things up. All right. So right now, if we do a ratio, we would say, three pints to four quarts. But there is a relationship between pints and quarts. So every quart has how many pints? We said this? Two, two right? So if you have four quarts, that means you have what? Eight pints. So this is the same as three pints over what? Eight pints, which is the same as just what? Three over eight. Is everybody happy with that explanation? Everybody okay with that? I know the rest of it. Yes, ma'am, quickly. I'm not putting like pints. I'm just putting like I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I really don't care. All right. Some some of the abbreviations are, you know, a little bit harder. Okay. All right. No, that's the final answer. Three over eight. Because why? What happens to the pints? They do what to each other? They cancel out. You with me? What is a pint divided by a pint? One. That's why I said. It means like a fraction. It's reducing a fraction. You with me? Now, notice up here, listen to me because you have a good question. Why did I not reduce the boy and the girl? They're two different things. We don't reduce them if they are, we don't cross them out if they're different. You hear me now? Yes. Very good. All right, so that was just to make sure. Um, how many ounces in a pound? Oh, well, tell me your question. Shh. What 
Well, because here, this one's really easy for me to answer. There is a half of a quart is one pint. So it's easier to say what? Two pints is one quart. So I'm saying? Right? Just like for pounds and ounces, I don't say there's one sixteenth of a pound is equal to one ounce. You understand what I'm saying? There are how many ounces in a pound? 16 ounces is equal to one pound. You see what I'm saying, right? So it's easier to convert this to ounces than it is to convert six ounces to pounds. Do you agree with this? So if I have two pounds, how many ounces do I have? T tell me. Because there are how many quarts? And each quart contains what? Can I show you? Look, here's a quart, right? How many pints are in there? There's four quarts. How many pints? Yeah, guys, please ask questions. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry because we wasted time today. So I, I don't want to hurry so much that you don't understand. All right. I used to have to draw the pictures personally when I was doing the conversions because it didn't make sense. But after I drew them enough, I could really see the relationship of what I'm supposed to be doing. All right, and hopefully you understand me on that, right? Just like if I said two pounds. When somebody says two pounds to me, I don't have to think how many ounces is that? 32 ounces. Every pound has what? 16 ounces. So if I have two pounds, I have what? 32 ounces. Everybody understand what I'm saying? Do I, do I care if you know that? No, because you can look up on your iPad how many pounds in an ounce or how many ounces in a pound, whatever it is, and it will tell you. Does everybody agree with me? Right? So right now, it is 32 ounces over 6 ounces. And what happens to the ounces now? They cancel out. Now you're just reducing 32 over 6 to what? 16 over 3, guys. That is all there is to it. I don't want you to make it that difficult. Are we okay with that? All right. Now I'm on number 9. I'm just staring at number 9, so let's do that. Does anybody, can anybody tell me about quarts and gallons? What is it? Four quarts to a gallon. If you don't know that, you can look it up. There are four quarts to a gallon. So if I have six gallons, how many quarts do I have? 24. So the answer is just 24 quarts over three quarts, which is the same as eight over one, which is eight. Everybody feeling better about it now, right? That makes sense. Agreed? All right, so let's try number eight just to make sure. Who remembers how many inches in a yard? 36 inches in a yard. Very good. All right. And that's why I tell you, if you don't know something, you should what? Look it up. You remember it better if you look it up on your own. I shouldn't have to tell you. If you don't know something, look it up. Look the conversion up. So I have nine inches to 36 inches. What happens to the inches? So nine over 36 reduces two. 1 over 4. Beautiful. Triple something. Everybody agreeing with me? You good? All right. So now I'm just going to look at the next little bit of problems. All right. I am pretty comfortable with you guys figuring all this out. I'm trying to get to the harder ones. All right. I have a feeling you guys can do. Uh, I have a feeling you're good, good with that. All right. So I'm going to do the harder word problems. All right. Let's do the hard word problems. All right. So let's take a look at 22. All right, here we go. It says, a department store conducted a study to determine what age groups shop in its store. Harrison, read me A. So what is 0 to 17, please? Over what? And what does that reduce to? And what does that reduce to? 
Yes, sir. Beautiful. One third. I'm happy with that. Is everybody okay with that? Who said I'm confused? Come on, come on, girl. You got this right. It's just this over here, right? We're looking the data is over here. <coughs> Elise, what about read B for me? So how many are 30 or under? That's right, a hundred. And the other one is eighty. Good job, girl. So reduce that. Which reduces to? There we go. Girl. Nice work. Okay, Olivia, are you good on this one? Everybody good? Olivia, good, 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 guys, girls. Everybody's com comfortable, right? Okay, so now I need a volunteer for C. Go. Read it quickly. Come on, no messing around. All right, so what is 18 to 30? And then what will be the, what will be the total number of people is 105? Oh, no. No, no, just, we already added. Somebody help me. How many? 180. I just said that. You said 888. Yeah. All right. Now, let's reduce that. All right. Divide by 5. 75. 5 goes into 75. Um. Thank you. <laughs> 15, good. And then 5 goes into 180. What's that? Get serious again. I'm trying to ignore you for a reason. 36, thank you. Now I'm reducing 15 over 36. Everybody comfortable? 5 over 12? All right. Now, again, I, I, I just don't think that's that difficult. You have to read carefully. This is a big part of standardized test, guys. That's what we're going to spend a little bit of extra time on. All right, big part. All right, writing ratios. I personally think it's super easy if you have to read carefully, though, or they can kind of mess you up. All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to jump to 24. All right. All right, Kate Mitchell, go. 24, read. Um, a cell phone carries hydrocarbon and chloride in different liquids. The one thing you're doing is you're three Stop right there. Three feet, four inches. Why is that a problem? They're not the same units. Correct, correct, correct. So I have to convert them to the same units. So it's much easier to tell me how many inches. Three feet, four inches is how many total inches. Do you know? 30, three feet is, and then there's an extra, so it would be a total of, yay, good job. Um, now listen, I'm going to write this down, 40 inches, all right, three feet, four inches. Does everybody know that three feet, four inches is the same as 40 inches? Anybody have any doubts about that? All right, so now continue on. Stop there. It says what first? The length of the what? What is the actual one? Cell phone 40 inches would be kind of big. Here it is right here, look. Yes, there we go. All right. It's hard when it's staring you right in the face. All right, so how many inches is the actual one? Now, why do I put that on top? Right. It's telling you that number first. The number that they mentioned first goes on top. The second number always goes on the what? Which is, in this case, 
40. And then we reduce this down to what? Yes, the correct answer, 1 over 10. 1 over 10. All right, yes, ma'am. Okay, so what I want you to do is, you ready? I'm going to highlight something. I want you to start reading. Start reading from there. Stop right there. What's the length of the actual cell phone? That's why it goes first. And then the second part goes in the denominator, which is the what? The poster. You with me now, right? That, that's how simple it is. Whatever goes first, whatever you say first is in the numerator, whatever you say second is in the denominator. Like I said, I never understood why people had trouble with that. It's really that simple. Simple, simple. Okay, now a good one. All right, we're going to do 25 together, and then it'll be almost time to go. All right, let's take a look at 25. Everybody take a look at 25. All right, I'll let you read, starting out. So A, go. Okay, so what is the mass? I'm listening to you. Answer. So we're going to write down, everybody's going to write down 2,000 grams to what? 150 beats per minute. All right, now can I reduce the units this time no. no I can't reduce I can't cross them out because there's different Does everybody agree with that all right so now we don't need a calculator for this because what can we cross out easily first Jack let's go will oh, um, we can cross out two, one zero yes and now what am I going to divide by uh, 15. Oh, no because no, no. it doesn't go evenly what number goes into 215? Oh, five. Five. So what's 200 divided by five? Three, eight, eight, eight. 200 seven. divided by five is three? No. Oh. oh. <laughs> Shh. Seven. 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 Forty. Forty. Thank you. That was quick. Over 15 divided by five. Think carefully, please. Three. Yes. Thank you. Beats per minute. Seriousness now. All right, does anybody have any questions with that? All right, that would be a ratio. All right. Now, does everybody agree the numbers here are getting kind of obnoxious, right? So do I care if you use your calculator when the numbers are obnoxious? I do not. I do not care. Okay? So now, I want uh, someone to read B for me now. Go. Right, now listen to me. I'm going to ask you something. Do you think it's easier to compare fractions or to compare decimals? Easily decimals, right? I would never tell you to compare fractions to fractions if it's easier to do what? It doesn't make sense to me. All right? So they're going to, we're going to write it as a ratio, and because we have to compare, it would be easier just to put them as a what? Which means you need a calculator. All right? So here we go. So we're going to start out. We just did the cat. All right, so somebody give me the decimal approximation for the cat. Come on, guys. Type it in on your calculator. What is it? No. The cat. Someone with the calculator. Yes. 13.3. All right, and it's grams per beat per minute. That's for the what? That's for the cat. All right? Now, I want the ratio for the cow. All right? Tell me. Yes. What, what fraction do I make first? Yes, 800,000 over 65 and then that's approximately what please okay
12,000. Point something, right? And that's for the cow. That's for the cow. All right. Mr. Horn, what about the hamster? What's that going to be? What's the fraction for the hamster? Look up. Just tell me what it is first. I want the fraction. Yeah. Mass to beats per minute, what it's going to be. If you don't know, that's okay. Come. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Look, right here. We're simply doing the mass per heart rate. So I want you to tell me the fraction first. Come on, there's nothing on your calculator. It would be what? No, no, no. No, we're doing the hamster, buddy. Oh, the hamster. That's it. That's all there is to it, guys. 60 to 450. So 60 divided by 450 is approximately what? Snow is asking you. About 0.13, and we'll call that the ham. All right? The ham. All right. And now, Marin, what about the horse? What are we doing? Faster. Faster. Let her go. It'll be 200,000 over. You are brilliant. So that's approximately what? Don't tell her. Two seven two seven two, right? Is it twenty seven thousand, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, and that's for the what? That's for the horse. Okay. So it says order the animals from greatest mass to least. All right, Lucas, which one's the greatest? By far, the horse. So everybody writes down horse. Then what? Hold on. That's a comma. 12,000 is bigger than 13. Do we get that? So after the horse comes the what? Yes, wow, your first mistake. And then what? There you go. And then what? Yes, then the ham. I have a question. All I did was look at that, and I already knew what the answer was. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the you see that big thing? Okay, yes. Yes, you can. I'm not even arguing with you guys. And that's what I actually want you to be able to do. Everybody hear me? You, you need to be good at numbers like that. You need to be able to look at that and say, well, obviously, you know, the 1,200,000 divided by 44 is more. All right? That's what I kind of want you to do. But we're also practicing with our calculators. All right? So on that. Now what I want everybody to do is at the top, I want you to say numbers 1 through 25. Oh, wait, we only put the last five? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, Nate, that's you. See you, Nate, boy. All right. Now, again, listen. Here we go, guys. Again, your homework, instead of doing through 32, we just have to finish up through 25, okay? All right, so adjust that, please. All right?